One way to help your footage, especially stock footage, look less generic and make more of an impact in your video is to add filters or effects to it. And you can do that quite quickly and easily in iMovie using iMovie's clip filters. In fact, I use iMovie clip filters on my footage even when I'm editing in higher end apps like Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve, of course. Final Cut and Resolve have excellent sets of filters and effects on their own, but they can be complicated to fine tune. And in some cases to create a popular look for your footage, you need to combine and adjust several effects. Doable, of course, but takes time and requires patience. iMovie clip filters are simple drag and drop. They're not as extensive or customizable as filters and effects in Final Cut or Resolve, but they're quick and easy to use. And with a little creativity and ingenuity, you can combine iMovie's clip filters to create some really unique looks. Let's jump in. So here we are in iMovie, and here on the timeline, I have this piece of stock footage that I got from the service that I use, which is Envato. There are other services like Storyblocks that have royalty-free stock footage. So what I wanna do with this piece of stock footage is add a clip filter here in iMovie to give it a unique look uh, to help change the look and feel of it. So to do that with the clip, the stock footage clip selected in the timeline, I'll go up to the top of the viewer to the toolbar here, and I'll select this button that looks like three intersecting circles. And that is the clip filters as well as the audio effects, but we're concentrating on the clip filters in this video. So right now it's set to none, so there's no clip filter on my footage. But if I select this button, you can see the clip filter browser pops up and we have all these different filters. Now, the great thing about these filters is that all I have to do is hover over them and I get a preview in the viewer of what the filter looks like with my footage applied to my footage. Now, the first filter here is none. <laughs> and so why would we have none? Well, you would use this if you've applied a filter. Let's say I apply black and white to my footage and I'm looking at it and I go, ah, I don't know, maybe I don't need that. I can go back up to the clip filter controls here, select where it says black and white, and then select none. And my footage is back to its original state. So that's what the none clip filter is. So I'll go back up and open the clip filter browser again. So we have all these different clip filters and just hover over and you can see the preview. So all kinds of different things. We have comic book looks, black and white, noir, silent era. We have film looks like camo and heat wave, and blockbuster, vintage, and so on. You can play with these uh, different filters and go through them. So once you select a clip filter, so for example, I'm going to select, mm, let me select aged film. I'll select that one. And so now it's applied to my clip. Now let's say, mm, uh, that's too much. I want to, I want to take a little bit of it back. I want to dial it back a bit. Just go back up here to the top. Oops. Select my footage again, back up to the top. You can see it says aged film, which is the clip filter that I have applied. And over to the right, you can see these controls. There's a slider and it says hundred percent. So what I can do is I can dial back the strength of the clip filter. You can see as I do that, you can see I get less of the clip filter. So if I go to 50%, I get 50% of the aged film clip filter. You can also type in a percentage if you want to. So let's say I want to go 35%, enter that so you can be a little more precise. So you can adjust the strength of the clip filter on your footage. This control only showed up in the last few versions of iMovie. Before that, your clip filter would be 100% and you had no control over that. So you had to live with it. Now you can dial it in as much as you want. So that's the basic operation of clip filters. But what's really cool is when you combine clips with different clip filters. So I'm going to go back up here to the clip filter controls and I'm gonna select for this clip hard light. And you can see hard light there and it's at 100%, great. All right, now what I'm gonna do with this clip selected in the timeline, I'm gonna press and hold the option key on my keyboard. 
click and drag this clip up to the overlay track like that. And now I have a duplicate of that clip in the overlay track. So that's a shortcut for duplicating clips. All right, so now I have two clips with the hard light filter. Now, what I'm gonna do with my overlay clip here, with it selected, I'm gonna go back up to the clip filter here. See, it's hard light. I'm gonna change this clip filter to, let me change it to comic basic. So now I have this comic book filter on it. Great. Now, what I'm gonna do is with that overlay clip selected, I'm gonna go back up, and this time I'm gonna select the overlay controls here by selecting this first button. And you can see my overlay clip is set to cutaway mode. So it's just gonna sit on top of the other clip and cover it. But what I can do is over here to the right, I have this opacity control. So I can dial back the opacity of that overlay clip. And if I do that, you can see we get less of the comic filter. So I can combine it that way. And so now I have sort of this combined clip that has a bit of the comic book, but the hard light underneath it gives a unique look. I could also just go up here and with the comic book, go back over to the clip filter controls here. And maybe I just dial this back to 50%. So we get less comic book around there. And I can also go to my clip on the main timeline here, which has the hard light clip filter. And if I select there, I can dial that back, say a little bit, say a seven, around 70%. So now I can just dial these in by dialing in or adjusting the strength of the clip filters or, and or, <laughs> adjusting the opacity of the overlay clip here. So you can mix and match and, and really mix things together to get a unique look for your footage using the iMovie clip filter. So you can combine things and just, you know, create something that's different. And again, trying to get something that not only looks different, but works with, you know, what you're doing uh, or the message you're trying to get across in your video. Now I've got some bonus tips for using clip filters. Now you saw here, I apply the clip filters to the clips in the timeline, which is basically how you would do it. But let's say this clip, for example, I'm just gonna delete this overlay clip real quick, selecting it, delete. Let's say I have this clip and I'm gonna be using it a lot in my video. Now you could, you know, cut pieces of the clip wherever you need to use it in your video and apply the clip filters to those individual clips of your stock footage. There's a faster and easier way to do that. I'm going to just select this clip in the timeline and I'm gonna hit delete to delete it. Then I'm gonna go up here to the browser and here is that clip in the browser. I can apply a clip filter to the clip in the browser. If I'm gonna use a specific clip filter for this footage throughout my entire video, that saves a lot of time. So I'll go back over here to the clip filters and I'll select it. And I'll hit none and I'll use, I don't know, let's use Blockbuster. And so now Blockbuster is applied to the clip in the browser. So now I can say, choose a section of this stock footage. I'll find this section. Let me just fix this section right here. I'll hit I to set an endpoint and then I'll play a little bit as the folks get out of the elevator and as we, they turn to go away from the camera, I'll make that the out point, hit E to apply the clip to the timeline. And now if we look at the timeline, there's my clip with the clip filter applied. So it saves a lot of time if you're gonna use the same clip, the same filter for this stock footage throughout your video. Another tip for using clip filters, let's say I have this blockbuster filter and it's like, yeah, I like how I've dialed this in. Maybe I'll dial it down a bit just so it's not as prominent. See, I like it, oh, you know, 57%, excellent. <laughs> so there it is at 57%. So let's say I like this look and I wanna apply it to another or a different clip 
in my project. So I have this other clip of footage here. I'm just gonna bring it down and drag it into the timeline here. So let's say I wanna apply this clip filter that I have, Blockbuster, to this footage. Now I could select this footage and go back up and open the clip filter, apply Blockbuster and you know dial it in. Great, but I don't have to do that. I can just select this clip that I have my clip filter with the settings that I like. I'm gonna right click on it, select copy. Then I'm gonna select the new clip that I wanna apply this to. And then I'll go up to the top menu here and select edit, paste adjustments, clip filter. And that filter is applied with all its settings to the new clip. So that's just a quick way, if you have a clip filter and you like the settings, that you can apply it to different clips. Really cool. So let me know in the comments what your favorite iMovie clip filters are, if you're using them, and how you use them. And be sure to check out the other iMovie editing videos on my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.